Today on the channel, we got first time in the line with Nash Carter and Wes Lee, MSK. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Mattel unboxing and review. And today, from the Elite Line Series 94, we've got Nash Carter and Wesley MSK. But remember, for all your WWE needs and a whole lot more to hit up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE to save 10%. And Wesley, Nash Carter, first time in the line, last time in the line, at least for Nash Carter, We'll see what happens with Wesley in his career. Obviously, he is still a part of NXT. Uh, we'll see where he goes and changes gimmicks and all that kind of stuff, I would assume. But Nash Carter has been released from the WWE, so this is truly one of those first time in the line, last time in the lines. And we have those from time to time, as you guys know. But of course, we're going to do this review and unboxing like we do all the other ones on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, MSK, previously the Rascals in TNA Impact. And then I also saw them a lot on the Pro Wrestling Revolver shows in Indie Federation. Uh, Sammy Callahan's group, uh, obviously from the er same area as Sammy. Saw them in person at a lot of shows, watched them on Impact, watched them on NXT, and uh, now they are no more, as we said. So very, very interesting dynamic. I don't know how that'll do for sales right here. I'm not sure if these guys are super, super well-known to the toy-buying audience of Mattel, uh, but there is diehards that will pick these up. But Nash Carter now being totally off TV uh, for quite a length of time. By the time this hits store pegs, this could be a big, big time peg warmer. Or it could be one where they say, hey, first time in the line, last time in the line. Better jump after it, get after it right away. So we'll see what the future holds for MSK on the retail pegs. But let's start it off, and I guess we'll start with Nash Carter. He's the one that got released, so he's going to go first is what it is. Uh, but there's that Elite Series 94 packaging. You got first time in the line right there. Nash Carter, little glamour shot going on, WWE logo Elite, Series 94. Get some extra hands with him, get a little vest action going on. Uh, just kind of your paint-by-numbers Mattel Elite is what it looks like to me. On the side, there's a little glamour shot. I don't know how glamorous that shot is, but it's a glamour shot nonetheless. On the other side, you got Elite Collection, you got Nash Carter, you got True Effects, you got Certified Authentic. We are playing all the hits back there. And then on the back right there, there is another glamour shot from in ring for Nash Carter. See what he's up to. We got the tail of the tape. We've got the blurb. And then, of course, we got the cross sell down below. Heavy, heavy hitter set in Elite 94. Of course, we'll be unboxing all these on the channel. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the week. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as we will rank the entire wave. Plus, we will unbox the Chase Brett Hitman heart. So we got to do that as well. So there's the back of the package. Without further ado, let's read and see what's going on with old Nash Carter here. From Baywood, Ohio, unseasonably warm this time of year. Height 5'10", 176 pounds. Finisher, the old double team blockbuster. Oh, there you go. MSK brought their innovative high energy offense like a young Coco Beware uh, to the NXT TakeOver stand and deliver and walked away as the new NXT Tag Team Champions. So there it is. Nash Carter, first time, last time in the line, as they say. As they say, or maybe I'm the only one that says it. I don't know. I got a little WWE logo in the background. Looking good as usual. See you later. Off to the side. There it goes. And we get a little glamour shot, a little plastic prison action. Like I said, we got extra hands. And, of course, we got his uh, vest to wear. Looks like Nash Carter has no fist to his name. Uh, no fists here. That's always disappointing. You guys know I'm a sucker for the fist. Pull him out. Pull him out. See you later. Up high, over the top. There it goes. All right, all right, let's get down to these accessories first. So no fist, he's got the gang signs going, and we'll dive into those here in a little bit. But he's got two C-grip hands. Uh, he's ready to hold something if need be, so that's what we got with this. Nothing. Would have been nice to maybe get an NXT tag team title with these guys. Uh, that would have worked, but not the cards, apparently. Then we get the rubber vest, uh, poly pocket style here with the cutout. Uh, nice white, I don't see any bad blemishes, anything like that going on there, so it does look very good. Uh, nice bright colors, a young up and coming team. Of course, you got to put them in bright colors. You got some kind of neon green, a little pink going on, uh, kind of a dark midnight blue, black piping around, and then of course the green piping down at the bottom. 
but it is. It's a vest, so you know, there it is. Not too exciting, but it is an accessory. It is a little addition here if you want to. Now we're going to dive into Nash Carter here, and he's right out of the package throwing up some serious gang signs going on. I don't know if this is the Mickey Mouse gang sign. I don't know if it's the Major Mark from the uh, Major Wrestling Figure Podcast gang sign, or is it the MSK gang sign? I guess it's probably the MSK gang sign, but I guess you got to probably... Uh, display him with these going on. I mean, I think you kind of have to. These are kind of hands just for him. Uh, it does look a little bit strange, though. I don't know. It just looks a little bit goofy. But, hey, what am I? I'm an old man, I guess. I, I don't throw up a lot of gang signs. Uh, occasionally, I give the old thumbs up. And then, of course, the old horns, the old heavy metal horns. That's about as far as I get in my signs. Uh, but the MSK sign, maybe it was taken off. I don't know. Do you throw up this hand sign? Let me know in the comments down below. But he's got that going on. And the hand's, of course, removable. You can replace if that's not your thing. Uh, but then we get to it. We'll start with the head here. Very interesting haircut. Very Shinsuke Nakamura-esque a little bit. Long on the sides, shaved on the sides, I should say. Long on the top going on. A very good lightness uh, on this one, though. It does really much. It does really much? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, it very much looks like Nash Carter to me. Uh, this is when True Effects really works. And this is one of those instances I think it works very well in. Uh, it looks really good. The hairstyle is good. The fade's good. Uh, a good, a good head going on here. And I believe the head's still removable, right? Yep, still easily removable. So you can mix and match and change things around. If you're so inclined, you can do that. Uh, then we get down to his tattoos on his chest. The legacy lives on, it says. And I'm not exactly sure what that means or what that's referring to. Uh, because the MSK legacy does not live on, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like he's got a cross and maybe some birds or something going on here belly maybe or believe i don't know it's a, it's a little tough to read on the side <laughs> one or the other belly or believe it, choose your own adventure then i don't know what he's got going on here 13 almost looks like south park characters uh just some uh trial by fire tattoos is what we got going on here it's uh you know connect the dots i guess but uh, a lot of tattoo work going on here and i'm not familiar enough to know if these tattoos are 100 percent accurate so uh, somebody can let me know i guess but Typical articulation, you get the uh, shoulders up, down, all around like we do with traditional elites. Get the bicep cut. Double-jointed, pinless elbows. You guys know I'm all in on that one. Uh, painted on forearm, wrist tape going on. Ab crunch, big ab crunch in the front, not so much in the back. Uh, a little bit smaller figure, too. He's a little smaller in stature, which is the way he should be. You got the MSK on the side of his pants, which matches jacket. Uh, of course, you got waist articulation. I didn't mention that, but we all know that one. Uh, two black knee pads, and then we do have pins in the joints here, but we do get uh, the double jointed, I believe. Yes, double jointed, it looks like. Yes, it does. Uh, boot cut, of course, and then uh, ankle. Very tight ankles. Extremely tight ankles. So tight, I'm scared I'll break them, but uh, we do get the ankle movements that we get with typical elites. Does he fit on a WWE ringside collectible stand? I uh, got to always do the test on that one. And he seems to fit like a glove, like he was made for these, of course. I hear these are coming back in stock soon, so uh, the sooner the better. I think a lot of us are running out of Mattel stands, so we need a, a refill going. And uh, Mattel ringside stands is the only place you can really get perfect ones for your Mattel figures. Uh, but it's Nash Carter. It is what it is. I'm gonna, I wouldn't lie to you and say I have a deep emotional c attachment to this guy. I'd say, oh, it's the Ultimate Warrior Reborn. Yeah, not necessarily. But always cool to get a tag team in the same sets. I should point that out. You guys know I'm a big fan of completing your tag teams in the same set, not having to wait, because you never know what might happen. I could see if he was in the second set, all of a sudden you would have got one half of the tag team uh, with the cancellation. He just got in down to the wire, uh, so good for him. At least he got a figure out of his run uh, better than nothing, I would say. Uh, but it's Nash Carter. Now we got to turn our attention to Wes Lee, the surviving member of MSK. Uh, a ship without a home right now a little bit in NXT. He's trying to find his way. Will he find a new tag team partner? What will happen? Who knows? Will he get called up to the main roster and team with my boy Riddle? I don't know. As we know, Riddle came to NXT and kind of guided these two, the MSK brothers, on their way. And you guys know I'm a big Riddle fan. So we'll see what happens. they got some storytelling they can do. But once again, Elite 94 packaging, WWE Elite, Collectors 94. Uh, same type of accessories here. It looks like the same everything going on. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get them out of the package. Glamour Shot, first time in the line. Wes Lee, of course. There's a little uh, mean mug on the side. A very nice play on the name, too. Not Wesley, like uh, Mr. Belvedere Wesley. It's just Wes Lee. So very cool play on the name. Same thing on the other side we saw with uh, Nash Carter going on there. And then in the back, we got the tail of the tape. We got the blurb. We got the cross-sell. We got the elite logo. We got a lot of fun. Let's see what it says about old Wesley. 
From Dayton, Ohio, beautiful this time of year. I always think of Dayton, Ohio. I always think of those ECW pay-per-views back in the day. That's what I think of when I think of Dayton, Ohio. Five foot seven, 190 pounds. Finisher, double team blockbuster. Same as his tag team partner. Makes sense to me. MSK brought their innovative high energy offense, like a young Owen Hart, uh, to NXT TakeOver, Stand and Deliver, and walked away as the new tag team champions. Same thing we saw with the other packaging. So uh, at least they're consistent. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison time. There's old Wesley looking only like he could look. Two extra hands in a jacket just like his partner. And it is identical jacket it seems to be. So uh, getting the most out of your molds, getting the most out of your jackets is what we're doing there. Off to the side. See you later. Goodbye. All right. So like I said, the exact same jacket it is 100% identical. So we already walked through it. We know it. We love it. We got jackets. Uh, then we get hands. We get two gripping hands, C-grip hands. Once again, one's got some wrist tape on it. One does not. Not a lot of special bells and whistles. So these guys, they're not throwing any punches. They're keeping it as legal as they possibly can. No punches to be thrown. Then we get down to Wes Lee. And very much like Nash Carter, once again, a very good head sculpt, head scan. True effects, I guess is what we'll say. Uh, does look like him a lot. Looks good. Got the nice sideburns going on, the goatee. Got the little uh, braids going down around. Uh, really good. Really good head scan first time. And it feels weird seeing somebody for the first time in one of these figure forms. We're so used to the Randy Ortons all the time, Shawn Michaels all the time. We don't get as many first timers as we used to back in the day as things have changed so much. But uh, definitely first time of the line going on here. Uh, once again, very heavily tattooed up. Tattoos all over the place, all over the arms. Not familiar enough to know how detailed if they are correctly detailed, but I would assume they would be. Uh, big, big tattoo on the back there. Big wings going on. Uh, but very, very intricate tattoo work going on here. And then you get, once again, the MSK hands. He's throwing up the signs. He's throwing it up. They're ready to party. Same hands painted a different color. I just wanted to make sure on that. Uh, you got the painted tape on the one over here. Uh, but it looks very good. Of course, double-jointed, pinless elbows once again. Articulation is the exact same as uh, we got with Nash Carter. Uh, but a really, really good-looking West Lee figure here. Uh, more of trunks here. I guess long kind of surfer board trunks type things going on. You got MSK right there on the butt. MSK on the crotch. Uh, kind of baggy on the sides with same articulation uh, at the knees that we saw with Nash Carter as well. A lot of good articulation there. Boot cut, of course. Uh, he does have his knee pads, um, so he's ready to go there. But all in all, not a bad figure. Let's see how he fits on a ringside collectibles. Uh, WWE Mattel stand. Oh, tight but he fits and you put these guys right there together they're ready to throw gang signs all day long is what they're ready to do uh but it looks good i'm glad we got some first time in the lines they're always fun to get uh who knows they could be in a clearance bin months from now they could be worth a fortune a month and uh, months from now who knows you never know what these first time in the line not sure what nash carter is going to be up to in his wrestling career is he going to pack it in is he going to go somewhere else will he be able to get books somewhere else uh, we'll see what the fallout from that is. Wesley, he's got an uphill battle right now in NXT. As we know, they cut a lot of people all the time. We'll see if he can uh, thrive over there, maybe make his way to the main roster. And this could be one of those ones like, hey, this was his first figure ever. Who knows? And maybe he'll get help from the Shaman Riddle. Bring Riddle in here. I guess that's probably where I'm going to display him. I'm going to have these guys displayed behind my Riddle figure uh, just for now until I really figure it out. But that makes enough sense. If you're familiar with NXT, if you watched NXT, uh, he was kind of guiding these two on their path to the NXT Tag Team titles. Uh, so that's cool enough right there. And they're all throwing up different signs. Uh, you know, Riddle with the more old-fashioned uh, hook em horns, uh, Hang Ten Brother, uh, where these guys got their own little uh, thing. thing. Yeah, we'll call it. So not too shabby, not my greatest tag team ever, not the worst ever, somewhere deep, deep in the middle, uh, but cool nonetheless to get. But what say you guys out there, you MSK fans, are uh, you going to pick this one up, pass, play the long game? Let me know in the comments down below, and of course you can pick these up at Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE to save 10%. So there is MSK. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And then while you're here, you made it this far, you might as well thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. As you guys know, we're unboxing the entire wave on the channel. And at the very end of the week, we will rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. And take a look at that Chase Bret Hart. So make sure you subscribe to the notification bell. Follow along on Patreon for this video and many other videos much, much earlier. Exclusive content, bonus content. And, of course, the monthly giveaways. Sir Paul 64 is where you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for MSK and my boy Riddle, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.